everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to Sundown, a, uh, a kind of bullet heaven roguelite version of, uh, let's see, one second, we want to buy the chicken. Yeah, we want to buy the chicken. Uh, version of Sunhaven, or kind of weird prequel-y thing? It's, uh, it's kind of odd, just because, like, I've played Sunhaven, I thought it was kind of cool. I did not expect them to do this, but on the flip side, I kind of am glad. I think it's... I don't know. I I really like the idea of uh, developers actually using Bullet Heaven style mechanics uh, to kind of have weird spin-offs of their games. Uh, let's see, Torchy, Crit Chance. Let's go for the Crit Chance. Hopefully that actually applies. I kind of wish Mining Progress would remain, but whatever. It doesn't matter that much. Okay, I do not have that much cash. What I'm trying to do is... Ooh, those are new enemies. Uh, what I'm trying to do is just grab as many resources po as possible before things get hard. Uh, we What we really want is money, but we're going to have to wait a little bit for that to actually pop up. I guess I should probably fight these things. Because they're not too hard and there aren't that many enemies at the moment. So the entire point of this is that I'm supposed to run around fighting things and exploring and gathering ingredients or resources during the daytime, and then at nighttime, things get a lot harder. Uh, like a lot harder. Damage, movement, movement speed. I want to be able to kind of kite these things around. My fireball is not particularly strong, and I haven't picked up any other power moves yet. Okay, the crystally guys are going to go back, but we've already killed like one or two of them, so I think that's fine. <laughs> one of them is trying to go back and is failing miserably owing to the fact that uh, the rest of the horde has decided they're coming along. All right, and we want to grab Hunter's Bow. Uh, so I actually already recorded a video on this, but uh, as, as it so happens, the day that the video was going to go up, they, uh, let's see, turret damage now. Let's go for the chain lightning. We just want more, more individualized power. Let's see if we can take these guys out. But yeah, the day the video was supposed to go out, uh, they put out a patch that added meta progression, fixed a bunch of things, and just made the game better, and it's like, okay. Well, I could put this up in a slightly disappointing state, but I don't think that would be fair to the devs, who are really fast at putting out an update. Uh, let's see, bulk up? Nah, let's go for the pickup range. Right, let's grab this chest. Uh, Buppy, Firestorm, Patch of scor Scorched Earth, or... I'm gonna go with Buppy. Reducing damage taken is actually kind of tempting in its own right, but nah. I'm just I'm just gonna send Buffy out. What we want is a lot of Buffy. Actually, uh, there's other things that I want more than just a Buffy, but still. I wonder if they fixed the egg. So they sell for 15 now. It said okay, good. They fixed the text. Originally, this said sell, sells for 25 gold, and then it sold for 10. Uh, but now it's 15 and 15, which makes sense. Milk has also been nerfed, which is a bit of a shame, but whatever. We're gonna buy the, uh, we're gonna buy the chicken. Let's start working on these stones, because we want to clear these camps for easy and early upgrades. There's one of them that gives, like, reduces my damage, but gives two cows. That one's 100% worth it. If I can get there. Uh, let's see. Number of buppies? Number of buppies. Yeah, if I can just have a uh, cloud of angie dogs, I, I'm fine with that. Okay, I might take some damage here. Nope, we cleared out a spot. Uh, let's see, number of fireballs, decrease damage by 10%. I'm gonna go for the EXP gain, even though damage down is kind of rough. Uh, let's see, bouncing arrows, burn damage by 50%. That's better, but let's go, let's go for the chain lightning bounces. That one's reasonably good. Long shot, range of all abilities. Firestorm, or, eh, let's go for the Hedgehog. Which is totally just a rock. I hope they, uh, <laughs> I hope they adjust the art on that. So it actually looks like a Hedgehog just rolling around at the speed of sound instead. Okay, burn damage by six damage over six seconds. Yeah, let's go for that. So I think that just increases my burn damage by a flat one per second, but I'll take it. Let's go back up to the chickens, and shop. Okay. I'm just going to keep investing in chickens until we can... Oops. 
One second, this is gonna bother me. There we go. I wanna invest in chickens until I can buy cows and then switch entirely up to a cow-based economy. There are crops, crops are pretty good, but uh, they aren't infinite, whereas chickens and cows are, so crops are a better thing later on, maybe. I'm not actually sure on that one. Okay, meteor, turn to attack speed or attack speed of all spells. Yeah, let's just go for that. Oh, I healed somehow. That's an interesting one. And we also have characters to talk to. Sup, sweet lass? Hi there, I'm May. Do you live around here? I just moved in and I wasn't expecting any neighbors. Uh, I'm battling the forces of Dynas. You may call me Lucy. I was an archmage of the town of Sunhaven until the armies of Dynas. Well, I don't like to talk about it. I was Sunhaven's leader and an archmage. I owe it to my people to fight and win back our home. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. That's amazing, you're a very dedicated person. But please don't get yourself hurt, and feel free to come back and visit any day. Do not worry about me. Oh, I shouldn't be rude, but I don't have much yet. Here, take this. Thank you. We get a free level up. Uh, let's see. More boppy? More boppy. Okay, so that was just free gems. Now, we kind of don't... Oh, boy. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. I think. Uh, let's see. Crit chance by 10%. So we're up to 20. Yeah. That's gonna hurt a bit. It's fine. Could have been worse. Could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse. I'm just gonna gather some ingredients while we just wait here. Ow! Something something got close. Alright, let's, uh, let's not tempt face. Yeah, my, my house also has a couple of dragon turrets that will fire at things for me, but... Eh, not that good. Okay, so what else we have? Torchy. Let's do, uh, Chain Lightning. I'm gonna keep kind of specking into that, because that actually seems really good. I don't have to worry about aiming it. Okay, reduces damage by 18% and grants a cow. Oh, that's way worse than it was earlier. Whatever. I'll just, uh, live off of a chicken-based economy, I guess. These are weird, mutated horror puppies. Alright, and we got our eggs, so what we should do is come here, grab, sell eggs. I know I can turn them into turrets and stuff, but I kind of don't want to. Let's see. Yeah, I just want to buy as many chickens as I can. I know seeds are automatically planted on the farm. Uh, though that was, that confused the heck out of me the first time, first time when I was initially play, placing this, because I was trying to actively farm. And it just was not working. So it looks like I heal about 8 HP per day, or somewhere thereabouts. I should not nerf my damage too much. But I'm not feeling too anemic damage-wise. And so I kind of want to get as much EXP gain as I can. Yeah, we should see if there's any new turrets or anything to spend this copper on. Something hit me for 25. Ouch. So there's the meteor. Well, let's go for the bouncing arrow. I like the bouncing arrow because it will just it will just bounce forever. It's not the most accurate of things, but it just does whatever it wants. Yeah, we should probably stop doing quite as many risky maneuvers here. I want. I want these guys to be a little slow at getting at me. I might also want to kill that crystal camp just to give myself some more uh, some more resources. Okay, Torchy, bulk up or incinerate. Uh, I'm gonna go for bulk up. We've increased my movement speed at least a little bit, so I'm not losing out that much. But some max HP is going to do me some good. guys out. There's also a lot of mining opportunities here, but I don't want to mess with that too much. Though I also do not know what, like, half of these resources are used for. Uh, let's see. Crit damage, all damage, 
or attack speed and movement speed. Crit damage would be nice, but we can buy that fairly cheaply. Okay, so let's not take any risks. Snag those. And then we have a boss. I probably should have bought and upgraded some stuff, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Increases Hunter Bow arrow size by 50, or 50%, and the uh, damage by 50%. Let's do a little bit of fishing while we wait. Oop. Oh, it's the Mammoth. Was the Mammoth the first time the last time? No, it must have been. I'm just misremembering. There we go. Uh, let's see. Buppy and attack. Buppy movement speed and attack speed. Yeah. I want that extra EXP gain, but it's probably going to screw me if I pick it too much. If only because after a certain point, I'm going to do no damage, and that'll be bad. Can I actually check my stats? The answer is no. That's unfortunate. Grab those crystals. Okay. Safe. The boss is a nuisance, but we can ignore him for a bit. Pick up range, turret damage. Go for the pickup and movement. Because I have a whole bunch of eggs. These chickens. Oh boy, they have been busy. Okay, let's stop for a hot second. Let's sell 40 eggs. Okay, and we're gonna buy a pair of cows. Because, yeah, I could buy a whole bunch of these things if I want to. Oh, perfect aim and critical blows got a little bit more expensive. I almost feel like the developers were watching me, but chances are this is just, like, no-brainer. Game design choices. Uh, let's see, hedgehogs are faster. I'm gonna go for the crit strike chance, which I think I'm up to 30%. I gotta keep that in mind so I don't go above. Unless you can red crit, at which point, I don't know. Okay, got the boss. You know, I was expecting the EXP from the boss to actually be uh, fairly tremendous. It was kind of weak. Ow. Ow. The uh, cone crabs hurt, and they're very fast. Luckily, because they're very fast, they've gotten to me, so we don't have to worry about too many reinforcements. And I can kind of use this star pond as an E. Oh. Or I'll die. That's also fair. All right, we're going to play her again. I don't care too much about the sword. Ah, uh, what do we even upgrade? That's a tough one. Because what we really need to do is save up for actually one of the really good things. And we're also not getting any of the really rare stuff. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna grab that one. Ooh, the next level is expensive, though. Let's see, do we grab anything else? Hogwild, big, big puppy? Big puppy. All right, let's go for those two. I don't know what we're going to get, but still. I want to get a win. Or, well, wins aren't possible. I want to get something kind of win adjacent. Right, cannot forget starting chicken. And now that we know saving up for a cow is meaningless, uh, it's just all chickens all the time. I'll have to take a look at the uh, crop profit margins because there is a very real possibility crops might actually be just as good at this point. Previously, livestock was like the clear winner with no competition. Okay, turbo, bouncing arrow, firestorm. I didn't care too much for Firestorm. Bouncing Arrow is kind of random, but it at least reliably hits stuff a lot. Okay, and then there's Intimidation Aura. So here's the question. No, so these are about the same. So let's go mess with these guys. Because, yeah, if I can get that stacked Intimidation Aura again, we can just coast to victory.
Auto Defender, Hand of Gold. I should maybe consider Torchy. But I don't know if it scales kind of independently. Please be Aura. No, but we get the Hunter's Bow. I'll take it. And we want to grab the Iron Molar back here. Because yeah, I'm going to need a lot of milk if I want to get those turrets. Uh, let's see, compound draw, yeah. Okay, Hand of Gold again. I legitimately cannot tell if it's actually worth it or not, but it feels it feels like that extra money does help. Uh, let's see, number of bouncing arrows fired. Okay, so it's three. But yeah, if I can scale that thing's damage so it does a ton, that would be a happy camper. Okay, long reach, fireball. Fire rate by 12% and projectile speed. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so we also have somebody over here to talk to. I guess I should do this more consistently, and he's got some iron with him too. Okay. Yeah, so this has dating sim elements. I probably kind of lampshaded that, but whatever. I don't know how much I care. I don't know if it boosts anything. I'm assuming it is just a very minor aspect of the game of just like, well, I mean, we put it here because it's kind of expected of us. Maybe it'll get expanded a little bit further. My ultimate hope, you know what would actually be a really good alternative here? Straight up just Atomic Crops. Like an Atomic Crops bullet heaven feels like it would only take maybe like a month to make. Okay, there's the in double intimidation aura. Yeah, so we want to just scale up its damage. I don't really need this much wood. I mean, maybe I do. Okay. Don't mess with that too much. What I should have done was actually grabbed the eggs and bought another chicken, but it's fine. Kind of. I'm losing out on money potential by doing some of this stuff. But I don't actually feel like it's that bad of an idea. Okay, Scorched Earth, nah, EXP gain. The movement speed, maybe I should invest a little bit into that. Okay, Incite Fear, stuns all enemies damaged by the aura for half a second. Yeah, that should be really good. I'm sure there's a bit of a cooldown for it. Yeah, there's definitely diminishing returns. But it still works. Okay, Torchy, Heavy Hitter, Hedgehog Helper. I'm gonna grab Torchy. I'm hoping the fireballs from Torchy are just similarly scaled to my own. I can't tell, actually. Which is a little bit of an unfortunate thing. I'm really curious if these two-star camps actually give better, uh, better rewards. Concentration... Mm, yeah, I don't know. Okay, right. Before I forget, we're gonna buy a pair of chickens. Okay, pickup range, duration of bouncing arrow, attack speed and movement speed. Uh, let's go for the bouncing arrow duration. Not that it matters too much. Okay, and since I haven't reduced my damage, my aura actually is pretty reasonably strong. I'm just digging the fact that the stun is actually working really well. Uh, it's... Grab Firestorm. I'm curious about if you picked nothing but damage reduction, what that would do. Would you actually be really powerful? Something to, the, to try at some point once this game's gotten a couple more updates and I've gotten a lot of meta progression. Okay, an additional intimidation aura. Here we go. Okay, 30 coins per day is kind of good. It's not great, though. Man, 
I can feel that movement speed reduction. Okay, buy another chicken, then sell a silly amount of eggs for another chicken. And yeah, I might, I might want to invest in a smidge of movement speed because I actually do feel sluggish now. Turret zap or extra damage to enemies further away. Now let's go for the chain lightning. The extra damage further away is kind of nice, but not super reliable. Okay, buy another chicken. So what do I need for quick stab? 300. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm gonna go work on camps. I'm not actually gonna stick around and fight these. We're gonna head for the uh, the girl. Talk to her. And yeah, this is why movement speed is super nice. Okay, dialogue again. Okay, fireball damage. Ooh, fireball damage. Alright, ow, ow. Do not, do not let camp touch. Do not let camp monsters touch. Please give heal aura. Uh, no, but I'll take the hunter bow damage. Okay, I have to make sure I don't get cornered here. Again. Let's go for the movement speed. The one problem is it is really hard to see enemies through my damage aura. Oh, oh the rocks, the rocks came back. Okay, we lived. Uh, let's see, damage, max health, movement speed. I was going to invest into other things, but I have no choice. Fireball rate, projectile speed, or harvesting speed. I'm going to go for the harvesting speed. Silly as that may sound, it's worth it. Okay, now let's clear these camps. Okay, intimidation range and damage. I'm, what I'm hoping is that increases the outer layers by the same amount. It certainly feels like it does. I kind of shredded those boyos. Okay, let's go back to chicken hell. Before all the daylight burns away on us. More egg. we buy yeah I should really be investing in some damage upgrades but we can hold out for at least like one more day after the boss then we need to care okay so now that we've got the boss, so I think at this point I'm going to start putting half of my money to power-ups and half of my money to chickens. Yeah, the only immediate problem is the quantity of chickens that I currently am rolling. Uh is it takes a little longer to sell all of the eggs compared to the, um, let's see, compared to the milk. Milk is fast. Okay, let's sell egg. Well, I can't actually afford anything other than a chicken, which is maybe part of my problem. Increase the number of firestorms. Yeah, let's snag that. Because the more firestorms we get, the better. Okay, make it rain, torchy, or... That was just speed of hunter arrow? Okay, shop. Do we want to get quick step or perfect aim? Actually, I'm going to buy the health potion. Who am I kidding? I'm going to be in trouble if I don't. Yeah, a little bit of pickup radius might be in order. Okay, so I still have 21 more eggs. Like, 
The problem is, to some degree, the gravity of buying more chickens is undeniable. Because the more chickens I have, the more eggs I generate. The more eggs I generate, the more money I make. The more money I make, the more eggs I generate, the more... Or the more chickens I buy, the more chickens I buy, the more eggs I generate. Like, it is... It is a vicious chicken-based economy. Let's see. I don't know how much EXP it takes to level up here, which may be part of it. Chain lightning damage by six, yes. Okay, we're just we're just going to scoot and blast. All right, I should probably go grab the iron at some point. Oh, it hasn't respawned here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb. Okay, so his resources have respawned. Can I talk to him again? Huh. I guess we can get more. Max HP. Eh, let's go turret damage. We don't have any turrets yet. We'll get there. And I'm a little leery. Because the, the crabs hurt. Yeah, we already took some damage somehow. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna buy another health potion. And we'll come back and grab these resources. Let's, uh... Let's go speed back as slow as we can. Uh, Demonic Fury. Absolutely. The bigger and scarier my aura is, the better. Look at all them eggs. The other thing is eggs are worth a decent amount of EXP. Milk might actually be better. Like, I hate to do this, but uh, maybe more chicken? I can't do too much else. We can also try and maximize the amount of plants we have. I should count how many plots I have, because that that might also be worth it. Okay. Intimidation is pretty good. Okay, so three. Uh, so 18... There's nine times four slots, so 36. So I might want to consider buying 36 crops on the regular. This is where I died last time. But I have the Intimidation Aura and Stun, which is really good at just cutting through these mooks. They're still rather fast and kind of spooky. but they're still having a much harder time getting at me. EXP gain, I'm gonna go for the harvesting speed. Because we might want to start doing some basic farming here. We also might want that pickup radius upgrade, if and when I get the opportunity. 43 eggs. I almost need like my clicker scripts just to sell stuff. Oh, but then it would actually sell everything. Okay, so do we want to do 36? cost all of these can be sold for yeah two days 50 exp 75 exp i'm actually i'm gonna get two might upgrades and then chicken because we want more damage uh let's see i really wish there was a re-roll here I mean, I'll grab Pyromancer. There is a very real possibility what I could do is, um, actually, I could actually get to those now. Okay, we've got kind of slow dog monsters. Which is a little bit more manageable. Let's clear the camp. I really want that Intimidation Aura Heals perk. I haven't seen it ever drop, which means it must be pretty rare.
Okay. Okay, just make it so Intimidation Aura increases the damage they take by an additional 20. I almost wonder if I could actually get it uh, stack that a couple of times so that my enemies just are incapable of harming me. Which would be really funny. Okay. Only immediate problem is now we are lightly surrounded. I have stuns, so we're not super doomed. And actually, just being down here is not the worst spot to fight. As long as the horde is kind of behind me. Yeah, I should go for that pickup radius. This is going to be a pain to collect this stuff otherwise. It's all the resources from yesterday's wave. Same thing with the movement speed. Might want to stack that. Uh, crit strike. Chance. And this is officially too many eggs. Okay, 88 eggs. That's a, that's a lot. Oh boy, the amount of clicking I have to do is actually going to cause some problems. Okay, so I want to just... Oh, man, what do I even want to do? Let's get uh, two into that, two into that, and then we'll buy a chicken with the money that we get. Because, yeah, we want to scale our damage at this point. The enemies are starting to get kind of punchy. We might also want to just start buying cows just for the sake of it. Okay, there's the pickup radius and movement speed. Wish that was a little bit better, but whatever. Okay, and the other thing we might want to do is start getting some, um... Oh, that gave, like, a ready XP. That's a different one. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I mean, movement speed. Harvesting speed? I, I should figure out what I need to get a turret. Is the real answer. Okay, we've got three-star enemies, which is interesting. The kind of weird whale platypuses? Kind of cute, actually. Really fast. Which is a problem. Yeah, investing in that movement speed. Really worthwhile. Right, I should actually... Oh, I should really pay attention to where I'm aiming. I've mostly been reliant on the aura. Okay, burn damage, hand of gold. Maybe unnecessary, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Do we wanna do we wanna consider just getting the egg cannon? I certainly could. But no, let's uh I know the milk splatter turret is really good. So let's actually buy a couple of cows and start saving the milk. There. That should do it. There we go. We do we do actually do quite a lot of damage here, which is nice. Oh, here's the other thing. We should probably buy a health potion. I'm not that injured, but I'm injured enough that something could kill me pretty quick, if I'm not careful. Uh, I'm just gonna go pirate power spike. And we're gonna keep clearing these camps. I'm almost wondering if I have to clear a T3 camp to get what I'm looking for. Yeah, it might be the case. Well, on the plus side, I am uh, certainly clearing this much more effectively. Okay, we have a sandcastle bot. Oh. oh, thank you, stun. The enemies are just a little tough, so I'm not clearing them. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's kind of easy to get stuck on the resources. I know the mushrooms are near deadly. Okay, so there's... Oh, it's a sandcastle turtle. That's cute. Alright. It's gonna take forever to kill them, though. So let's, uh, let's go back here. Grab the meteor. Might as well. It'll hit stuff. Okay, so we're gonna sell all of our eggs. I must have 21 chickens. Let's see, how many more would I need? Four? Four chickens. To get 100 eggs per day. Eh, it's up there. I'm just gonna up my crit chance. Okay, so crits are red numbers. I don't think that was shown yesterday uh, when I was playing this the first time, but getting my crit chance up to 100% so I never see anything other than red numbers is a really good idea. Because at this point, my flat damage is pretty good. And so it would be much more practical if I actually could um, crit 100% of the time. Okay, good, the iron's back. It's a little dodgy, trying to get up here right before sundown, but I think we're fine. I'm also rather fast. Okay, right. I actually have to pay attention to where my cursor is. These little ghosties are... Zippy. Luckily, I can just mulch through them. I kind of would love to get another aura of intimidation. Uh, another layer of intimidation aura. We're just gonna kind of loot back. The trick is to kind of figure eight. Uh, let's see, turret, attack speed, burn damage. I, uh, I'm gonna just go for the attack speed. It'll slow me down, but I can offset that with money. The turret attack speed is useful, but not particularly amazing. Okay, snag that. One more milk. Oh, there it is. Uh, let's see, right, shop. So, sell egg. It is a lot of egg. I think this is my only regret with buying so many chickens. As good as they are, I almost kind of wish there was a sell all button. Or if I could hold like shift click or something. Uh, let's see. I get one in quick step. Okay, so hopefully this means we almost never hit normally. Eh, it's kind of there. It does look like, uh, oh. Does harvesting scale your EXP so it's proportional? Ooh, that's interesting. Burn damage, attack speed, but loss of movement speed. I can work with that. Because we can just keep buying movement speed. It's a net gain. It's not perfect, but it is a net gain. Yeah, so harvesting resources gives you a percentage of your level no matter what. So actually, after a certain point, harvesting is almost better. I'm just gonna keep talking to this dude. I think I'm gonna get married by accident. Intimidation, uh, movement speed bonuses increase the damage of intimidation by an equal amount. Oh. Okay, so we wanna, we wanna go hella fast. Okay. Hunter's bow, crit damage, bounce, bouncing arrow damage. Which I should scale up more. It's not particularly amazing, but it's a good, good way of softening enemies up. If I had one complaint about this game, it's that you don't actually get that much more meta progression. Uh, fire rate, yeah. There we 
we go. I guess we're getting maybe some more meta progression crystals, but it is small beans compared to like maxing things out. This is gonna this is gonna be a grindy game. But I do appreciate that there is meta progression. I just wish the initial runs were a little easier. Hand of gold. Look, if I can get it to be 100% per thing killed, that would be excessive, but good. Explosion radius. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so every once in a while, I don't crit. You know how I bought those cows so I could get turrets? I don't think we need them anymore. Oh well. Okay, so I want to make... I'm curious about the cow beds and chicken coops, what those do. Anyway, so now we've got turrets that will shoot things for me. Uh, let's see. No, sell egg. Please tell me there's... Nope, there's no way to sell these faster. Well, at least the eggs don't go bad if I forget to gather them. Uh, that's fine. Now the question is, what do I invest into? Honestly, as wild as it is, I think I'm going to buy a bunch of points in Scholar. My leveling has slowed down a little bit, and there's a couple of upgrades that I want to snag. If I can snag him. The harvesting speed, especially because we know... Ooh, yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. I... I think I've cracked the code. Uh, let's see. So... Harvesting gives a fraction of a level. Every time I... Every time I harvest, I gain, you know, a portion of my lo my level, no matter how high it is. If I stack my EXP gain a bunch, that portion increase increases, so potentially to the point where getting a tree, like chopping down a tree, gets me half a level. So if I can up my harvest speed and increase my EXP gain, I could potentially get it up to the point where I'm I'm leveling faster, not slower. This might also be true of my own eggs. We'll see. Okay, range of my abilities. Yeah, I spent all this effort to get the, uh... The milk so I could get those turrets, because the turrets are good. But, now I'm so powerful that the turrets are no longer good. Let's see, just range of everything. I want my, uh... I want my aura to just mulch. Right. I should be doing this. It takes a while. A game desperately needs a sell all button. Anyway, let's keep buying Scholar. I think this is going to work. Ow. We still haven't gotten the the aura upgrade uh, that makes it so I heal a fraction of an HP. I guess what I should probably do is go after some of those three-star camps at this point. I can't imagine they threaten me too much. Uh, yeah, it's a reducing damage taken. Not something I'd care too much to go out of my way for, but... Might as well, I mean, considering everything. And at some point I'm going to get absolutely murked by the number of enemies coming after me. But... Maybe we'll be okay. I definitely can't sit still. They can and will catch me. I say as I then sit still while I mine. And am totally fine, apparently. Hunter's bow arrow size, chain lightning fire rate. Nah, I'm gonna go for the chain lightning fire rate. If I can turbo palpatine things, that's also going to work really well for me.
But I still think the uh, the intimidation aura is by and far probably my my best asset at the moment. It just chews through things like nothing else. Okay, let's go back to Egg Hell. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna keep increasing the radius of the explosion. Yeah, so even even my eggs give a proportion of my level in EXP, I think. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. This is not this is not worth the time I'm investing. The turrets just are not going to be good. They don't scale in the same way that I do. They cost too many upgrades. So if I end up selling all of my resources for it, so be it. Okay, that's too slow. There we go. Perfect. Farewell, resources. You are appreciated. And now I will sell everything to become strong. Okay, so I've now become strong, and now I've become incredibly smart. Okay, chain lightning bounces. How much is that? Eh, it's like a sixth of a level, give or take. Uh, let's see. Eh, let's go for the chain lightning upgrade. It looks like the bigger resources are also worth more. Uh, let's see. Hunter's bow, arrow size, and damage. Yeah. If it's just one or the other, no thank you. But both, yes. Kind of wish the camps would come back. But I guess that would be kind of farmable. Sorry, Buppy. Ain't, ain't in a Buppy mood today. Okay, new boss. Who dis? Uh, meteors fired by two, sure. Okay, and there's, there's some three-star enemies. I might actually be able to go mess with them. I, I just killed them. Just absolutely no mercy. Nothing, nothing can stand against me at this point. Uh, I really wish the chest on a three-star was better. Intimidation damage by four, and that's the flat amount. So that's that's the base. It's all the percentages I'm stacking on top of it, plus the crit and everything. Uh, it should make me do a lot of damage to them. I just have to make sure that boss doesn't touch me. Because I will probably die. Luckily, I can kind of just disregard them. Let's see. Harvesting, crit strike damage. I guess I'm going to go for that. Uh, let's see. Give myself two points in quick step. Gets me over here. Gets me extra range. Extra range. Do I even care for the iron? I have no idea. Kind of do, kind of don't. Ooh, there is a bunch of iron over here. Just not a whole lot of reason for it. Uh, let's see, pick up, pick up radius. I almost wonder if I can get to the point where I can just constantly fish. Because I bet that's just as good of EXP. If not better. Okay, you little gobloids. Are they little Grim Reapers, actually? I'll take the harvesting speed. I mean, we've determined that harvesting is actually overpowered. Like, I, I started this thinking, oh, harvesting is silly, why would I ever? And now I've gotten to the point where harvesting is incredible, and, you know, I absolutely need more of it. Where is my cursor? I don't know. Do I care? That's tough. Well, at this point, I think I'm also strong enough that I can continuously go and just mac on this dude. Well, 
If I get married, so be it. <laughs> so Shell's hanging out in the other room, and I say, of course, you know, if I get married, so be it. And I just hear, hear through the door, what? And I think she's calling me a cheat. <laughs> uh, let's get some more meteors down. I don't know how good the meteors are, because there's n the visual effect for them is kind of eh. Let's keep going for some max HP, too. This way something can touch me without killing me. Okay, do we have more? Ooh, rate of fire with the meteors. It might be one of those that the meteors actually just become just as broken as my aura. Like, my aura is great for clearing enemies out. I think we also need pickup radius. We're killing too many things too far away. And that is a problem. I know the meteor upgrade would be nice, but we desperately need just infinite pickup radius here. Well, this is just going to be a short video. And then, whoops, things happened. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Arrow. Oh, we're going to have, like, an upsetting number of eggs, aren't we? Probably. Oh, there was harvesting speed. Uh, the pickup radius is just about as good. Okay, chain lightning bolts. Yeah. Actually, oh, oh god. What ha- what- what have I done? Uh, range. EXP is nice, but I can I can snag that from the shop. Okay, so right. I don't really I don't really care about resources and what they're good for. Why would I? Okay, so we snag that. Then we're going to buy a bunch of Scholar. I should invest in some other things, however... Yeah, if you notice, the EXP I'm getting per one of these is increasing. Not decreasing. I am- I'm going to mine my way to victory. Okay. More movement speed. I don't really think there are any more enemy camps, are there? No, but we do have a, a bunch of these. I really should have gotten the harvesting speed upgrade. If we see it again. I don't know why I'm reducing the damage I take. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm doing anything at this point. We are overpowered as heck. I'm going to keep upping my speed here. I, we might just end up killing everything with infinite... Uh, oh, more swift death. I don't know if that stacks the effect or what. I'm assuming it does. Let's see, attack speed of all spells. We might want to just invest a lot of points into attack speed next. I wonder what point this game ends. We're on winter 18, so maybe that's going to be the end of it. That's probably it. Oh. So I can mine those endlessly, but those don't give me resources. Huh. The game has said no. I can no longer gain EXP from harvesting. I can get infinite resources, but I can... I think I broke it. Well, that's okay. My eggs will always love me. Is 81 the maximum? Might be. Yeah, so we can also get a bunch of fish, but we're not gaining EXP from that either. Yeah, nope, we have absolutely just demolished this game. 
I don't I don't know if there's anything else we can do. At least our last upgrade is a good one. I wonder if this game just wasn't meant to go this far. Okay. Well, at least we can get this. Uh, let's go for some more pickup range just for the sake of it. Yeah, so I can just get en endless iron from this too. I'm actually I'm gonna hang out and do that. I don't know how much iron we want. I guess we probably shouldn't... We probably don't need to do this. Oh, there's a new enemy type. Still. Somehow. Oh. And my chickens have run dry. Huh. Well, that's interesting. I think I've plumbed the depths of this game and then some. Leaving us with, um... A shallow husk. Are enemies even dropping resources anymore? Yes, they are. Okay. So all of those upgrades that make it made it so enemies would drop money are the only way that I'm going to be able to progress at this point. I'm hoping we're just right at the end and this is about to finish. Though I would like to get just a wait, 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 wait. It's not the most time, uh, it, it's not the best in a, from a time perspective. However, I can get infinite meta progression resources this way. Ah, oh, shoot. How am I going to die? I'm, I'm hoping this game just ends, uh, with the next season. Because at this point, I am, I'm too strong and cannot be touched. Nothing has even gotten close to me and there's no way for me to, uh, there's no way for me to fail at this point. So if we just park ourselves here and hopefully grab a whole bunch of meta progression resources, we can, uh, you know, as soon as spring arrives, game will end and we'll uh, be able to buy at least one good upgrade. Please be spring, please be spring, please be spring. Maybe we have one more day. I don't know. You know what? I got grapes. I'm just going to sit here and eat them. Or true. What's the worst that's gonna happen to me? I'm gonna die? You know, that actually sounds kind of ominous. In regards to the whole grape eating situation. Unfortunately, they're supposed to be seedless, but they're not. Oh, hey, there is a boss. Um. Hey, maybe I should actually try and kill him. He's a tough sucker. Okay. If he's this tough, let's park ourselves here. Sell everything. Because, yeah, I was going to maybe buy some stuff, but nah. Let's just sell all of our remaining worldly possessions and vigorous attack speed. Yep. Yeah. Let's just go a little faster, do a little bit more damage. I don't do that much. I can't one-shot him. But all I have to do is just uh, walk in a quick circle and he gets confused. And I won! Yes! So there is an actual ending. Do get extra resources for doing so? Probably not. Which is a bit of a shame. Yep, yeah, no. Just have whatever I had. So, considering everything's kind of expensive. Yeah, we never got soul sap. The bup up and away would actually be kind of fun, but which of these was really good? The extra chain lightning was good. Honestly, well, they don't have any upgrades for meteor in here. Honestly, maybe that's fine. So extra numbers of bouncing arrows, twin flames. I think this just gives me four, more fireballs, but I don't really care for that one. Because it's very much either chain lightning I'm gonna just go big dog. Okay, and incite fear, which actually turned out to be really good. So this, every time we get a uh, get more buppies, we get two instead. 
and then I can also increase their size by 65. I don't think I'm going to play this game again for uh, a little while, just because, I mean, charming as it is, it definitely needs some more time in the oven. It was launched in 1.0, but I believe that this is version, like, 0.5 instead, and I hope... I sincerely hope the developers continue to update this for at least the next couple of months. Just more meta progression systems, some more characters, some more things to do, uh, more farm upgrades, and just to kind of smooth out the difficulty curve, uh, both for like newbies starting out, but then also just, uh, I don't want to say to keep it more interesting, uh, but I very much was just kind of stacking basic upgrades and hoping for the best. I'd almost say slow down leveling and get rid of all of those basic statistical bo bonuses from levels, so like no 10% damage, no plus 15% damage, minus 4% movement, movement speed, just get rid of all of that stuff, and instead just make it so that um, you get that stuff by farming and making money, and use EXP purely for unlocking new abilities, much more rarely, maybe. But, I don't know, either way. Uh, with all that said, Sundown is available on Steam. It's been out for a couple of days, and it's not the cheapest bullet heaven on the market. It is, I think it's seven bucks. Uh, eight bucks normally down to 720 for launch, which if you're passionate about what this could potentially be, I think it's worth picking up. Otherwise, I think there are better ones on the market in the moment. But hopefully in a couple months with a little bit more development, this will actually be worthwhile and worth playing a lot of. Because the fusion of farming and bullet heaven has a lot of potential. It just needs to get there. So with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.